Hey, welcome to Drive By Reviews, and we are today looking at the Finger Pulse Oximeter SM110. Right now, you can find this on Amazon.com for about 20 bucks, which is way down from when I bought it a couple years ago. Now, a pulse oximeter is a device that can be used to easily look up the oxygen saturation in your bloodstream, as well as your heart rate. There's different types of units, including these finger units, ear units, clinical units, amateur units. And I've had the chance to compare it to many different units, including clinical units. So today, I'm going to take a quick look at how this works, what it comes with, and of course, how did it compare to the other units that are available out there on the market. All right, so first off, pretty simple unit. This is a finger pulse oximeter. And so it's designed to just squeeze and open, place on a finger. You click the button, wait a few seconds, and boom, it will pop out. Oxygen saturation on the top, heart rate on the bottom. Now I've got no circulation issues, so of course it picked up my information quite quickly. If there's some circulation issues in the hands, it can oftentimes take a little longer and be very inaccurate. And that's one of the reasons they have the ear units that allow you to clip on to the ear as these tend to be a little more accurate as to what is the oxygen saturation towards the brain. Now most of the units designed for fingers come about to about the same quality. I've actually had the opportunity to compare this to a whole number of different finger units and they're all about as accurate being about one or two points off on the oxygen saturation and maybe five or so off on the heart rate. One of the big differences between this unit and the other ones out there that you can find say at places like Walmart you know different types of uh, medical supply stores it's got this kind of retro display which is actually really easy for me to read not always for everyone. The other units tend to have a more modern display not this old retro style and it tends to be smaller the characters the numbers are smaller and even the line is a little smaller and I find that unusual because typically people don't like the display on these to be smaller since it's already quite small and the information has to be read now one thing that is interesting about this is this is designed almost to be a clinical unit because you read it away from the hand as opposed to towards the hand so most people are used to just sticking the unit on their finger and reading it this one doesn't work that way. There's no sideways read. It's read this way. As a side note, it's good to know that in general they found the middle finger tends to be the most accurate phalange to put the pulse oximeter on, but I haven't found a huge difference. In fact, if I have a hard time really getting a read on somebody, you just bounce through the fingers till you find one. If there's fingernail polish though, flip it around and just get the infrared to go through the finger pad as opposed to the fingernail. Now this is an aspect that not everyone really thinks about and that's durability. I've been using this for a couple years now and it has hit the floor at least 20 times. About the third time it broke apart and of course I'm thinking great I gotta go buy another one now. But What I like about this unit is probably not on purpose but when they designed it they gave this cheap spring action joint in the middle here and it tends to take the brunt force on a drop and just bust apart and it's very easy to put back together I don't want to demonstrate it because I'm sure there's a limited number of times it's going to do that before a plastic piece breaks. But, you know, right now with it being replaceable at $20 and uh, surviving at least 20 falls, pretty remarkable to me, uh, especially since it actually still works. Battery usage, uh, the batteries lasted me on daily use, five times a week, at least 20 times a day. It's lasted me about six months at a time before it starts becoming harder to read and all of a sudden dies on you. If I had to have one complaint, it would be that the screen, the display screen, doesn't hold it very well to alcohol as far as being completely unaffected by it. If you can pick this up on the screen, there it is right there. You can kind of see how my alcohol and bleaching and other cleaning materials have kind of scuzzed up the plastic and that's just the nature of the harsh cleaning chemicals I use to make sure that there's no bacteria being transferred from person to person. But beyond that, there's really nothing negative I can say about this, considering that it's cost effective and it does what it's meant to do. And it comes with a couple of nice items as far as the lanyard and the belt, uh, the belt case, which of course makes you look like a total nerd. Well, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. If you have a need for a finger pulse oximeter, the SM110 is a great option, even though it doesn't have the most catchy of names. All right, see you guys next time on Drive-By Reviews.